Hi, I'm often asked a couple of things. What is the view that a learner sees? And two, well, how do we use the assessment feature, especially with AI feedback? And now that we have a review step for admins, how do I set that up? So I'll just go through a few of those items. What you see here is the student view of learning. And in this case, we've used the course box new AI avatar creator to build an avatar teacher. We've also added in our course box AI tutor to the course. So you can see when a learner clicks that, the viewing area pushes to the left and I can engage with my tutor as well as view the virtual teacher on the screen. Clicking next, I'm taken to the next screen where I have set up an assignment. This was generated by Coursebox AI Writer for assignments and it generated for me a scenario which is where a learner might really have to think and you'll see that there's a grading rubric. Now that can be hidden from the learner but in this case we've just made it very transparent. And then as the learner I can submit into the box or I can upload a Word file. Okay, as a learner I'm going to submit, click send, and that will be sent off for review. You can see that that's in progress for the learner. The administrator will get a notification, and you can see it's here, and I can click assess submission. And you'll see I've been given a grade of 80%, and this is my breakdown. So it's a very comprehensive breakdown. And I can edit that. I might decide to, to give some additional feedback or I could change part of the breakdown of the feedback in the rubric grading. When I'm happy, I click Save. And you'll see I can also edit the overall grade. So if, if I believe it should have been 85%, I can save that as well. Click Validate and Publish, and that's now sent to the learner. So as the learner, I'll also get a notification that I've been graded. I can view my grade, scroll down, and you'll see I did get that reviewed, 85%. And I can see the additional note, great work, which was added during the administrator's review. And I can also write my own comment. So that's how the... AI grading for the scenario assignments work. It doesn't have to be this comprehensive either. So you can write a smaller open answer assessment item, let's say just 50 words. And if your rubric is a bit too comprehensive, you can either hide it or you can make it much shorter. I'm going to show you one more example where we're turning off the review step because you don't always need that. So we're gonna say moderation required, no. Now we'll save this one. And we're still gonna keep AI feedback. Now you can turn that off as well if you just wanna do manual feedback once somebody submits their work. Okay, now I'm gonna submit. And this time there's no review step because we've turned that off for grading. And it says, we are grading your assignment submission. And you can see that I've been given a grade this time of 75% for my work and it was automatically assessed. So it's as simple as that. And you will see that it's a really powerful way to use scenarios with a grading rubric for open answer submissions. And you can either do that automatically so the learner will get immediate feedback with, with detailed breakdown, and this all goes into your gradebook by the way, or you can add in that interim admin review step, whatever suits your use case. And I'm just gonna show you how you can create one of these assignments manually. So the way this one was created was using our four step process and I selected that I did want an assignment. But if I want to add in an assignment manually, what I do is add topic on the left menu. We'll call this new assignment. And go into that page. Click on AI Writer. Click on AI Assignment Writer. And I can give a lot more details in my instructions. This should be a short assignment and we'll just make it a 50 word count and update page and just refine that until I'm happy and down here in the 
rubric generator. Again, I can, I can edit the criteria and what point is allocated up to 100%, make sure it adds up. And you'll see if I look at assessment, in this case, there's been no pass grade as assigned, so I'm gonna change that to 50%. And this is where you would turn on or off moderation or indeed turn off AI feedback. And if you don't want to pass grade and you just want learners to be forced to engage and then just move on to the next page, you can certainly turn off pass grade. And that's really good in some compliance scenarios where they're either, they've either done the work or they haven't. And you can always preview using the preview mode. And that's it. So thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Cheers.